Grade 6 Math, number 11.1. .1. This chapter, chapter 11, we're talking about geometric figures. We're going to measure and classify angles. If you remember from 5th grade, we did angles and we did points and we showed you where the vertex was. So a little review real quick. We have two lines crossing each other and they cross at point S and on the lines, on this line we have point R S, Q, and on this line we have points P, S. See that? You remember what a ray is? A ray is a point with an arrow at the end, like this. Lines have two arrows, and line segments have two points at the end. And angles are measured on the inside here, okay? or on the outside. You could either measure it on the inside here or on the outside if it's so open that it wrapped all the way around. Acute angles are cute and smaller than a square corner of 90 degrees like this. Here's the square corner. If the angle is smaller than the square corner, it's acute. Like it's a cute little angle. See? It's smaller. Angles that are bigger than a square corner of 90 degrees are obtuse. If it's bigger than a square corner, if it's open more than a square corner, it's obtuse. A right angle is like a square corner. It's 90 degrees. See? It's like the corner of a box. So we use a little box to indicate right angles. They draw a little box inside the corner there. A circle has four 90-degree angles when we draw lines through the center. When we draw two crossing lines through the center of a circle, we make four 90-degree little box angles there. And what's funny is this is perfect because 90 times 4 is 360, and a circle is 360 degrees around. It's like when someone says, oh, I did a 360, it means they started here and they went all the way around one time, okay? Or in skateboarding, a 180 is going from here to here. It's like going halfway around. And a 720 is going two times, right? Okay, so we can measure and draw angles with a protractor to be precise. We can do 37 and a half degree angle if we wanted to. Any angle greater than the 90 degrees is obtuse. Any angle less than 90 degrees is acute. Any angle that is 90 degrees is a right angle. And any angle that is exactly 180 degrees is a straight angle. Let me show you. This is an angle that opened so big that it wrapped around and almost started closing again. It would be like this angle opening and opening and opening and almost wrapping around again to touch that side, okay? Here's a ray. It's got a point with an arrow at the end. A line has two arrows. Here's an acute angle that's less than 90 degrees, see? Here's an obtuse angle that's more than 90 degrees. Complementary angles are two angles that total 90 degrees, see? A 40 and a 50 make a 90 degree. A supplementary angle is some angles that total the 180, the half circle. Perpendicular line makes two right angles, see? Here's a straight angle. It's got two arrows at the end with a point for a vertex, but going, it's so open that it's going straight across like a straight line, and that is 180 degrees right there, see? Here's our right angle, okay? So, any angle that is 90 degrees is a right angle, and any angle that is exactly 180 is a straight line is a straight angle, okay? Now, we can use the corner of a piece of paper or a box or an index card or a, even a business card to make a right angle of 90 degrees because they're cut that way. See? Even the corner of my dry erase board is a 90 degree angle. The corner of the room is a 90 degree angle. We label angles by their points and vertex. This is X, Y, Z. The middle letter is always the vertex. And this angle is obtuse because it's bigger than 90 degrees. You can see 90 degrees would have been there. And it's bigger than that, so it's obtuse. And we write it with this little symbol for an angle that says angle X, Y, Z. Okay? 
Now to measure an angle, you place the whole of the protractor, there's a little hole right by the three, the measurement, there's inches and then there's centimeters. And if you look by the three measurement, there's a little hole and you place that hole on the vertex of the angle, okay? And then there's a straight line that goes through the hole. You lay that on one of the lines of the angle, okay? Now for angles that are open to the right side like this, it's open towards my right, you read the inside measure inside here. And for angles that are open this way, you read the outside measure, okay? And I'll show you. So this is what it's going to look like really big. It's got measures on the outside and it's got measures on the inside. And these are meant for if the angle is open on the right side or the left side. If it's open on the right side, like this, then we'd use these inside measures. If the angle is open on the left side, like this, we use the outside measures. See? Here's the little hole. Here's the straight line that you would use to line up. Okay? So take a look at this. Here's my protractor. And I don't know how good this is, but can you see the 50 degrees and the 70 degrees? This is a 60 degree angle. See? And I've got the one line exactly on the line that's going through the circle. See it? Right by the three? If you look, there's this line. Whoops! There's this line right here. See? And there's a hole. And then I line it up. See? And there's a 60 degree thing there. You line it up. And you can measure it and say, oh, that's a 60 degree angle. Now this one is opening to the left, so I used the outside measure. All right, let's see if I can do this without hitting myself. You put the hole, right, see, by the T and the C of Westcott? You put that hole right there, and you put it on the line. And then you can see, using the inside measure, 70 and 50, it's on the 60, see? And then here's an obtuse angle of 120 degrees. We put the hole that's by the T and C and Westcott, we put it, we match it up on the line. Okay, and I gotta match it up on the hole too, and try to hold my camera all at once. And then you can see, it says 110 degrees and 130 degrees. That's a 120 degree obtuse angle, okay? Now, the way to draw an angle is you draw a line, okay? You just draw a line with the bottom of the protractor right here, okay? And then you put your vertex, okay? And then you put your protractor on the line with the dot going through the hole, just like we did, and you line that line up, see, like that. And then you find where the angle is that you're trying to measure. All right. So it's really hard to do with one hand. Sorry. Okay. You try to find, if we wanted to do like a 40 degree angle, I would put a dot right here at the 40. Okay. And then I take my protractor like this and I make a line. And then when I take it away, I've got this 40 degree angle, see? So that's how you draw it. So to measure it, depending on if it's open to the left or right, you're gonna use the inside or the outside, all right? So the outside is used to measure if it's opened on the right side, and the inside is, I mean on the left side, and the inside is used to measure on the right side, and it makes sense, okay? Here's the 90 degrees, right? Straight up and down. If it's an acute angle, it's smaller than 90 degrees. So look at where the smaller numbers are, 80, 70, 60. These are on the inside here. So that's obviously going to be a right side open. And the smaller numbers here are on the outside. So that's obviously going to be an acute angle open to the left. See? Then there's centimeters, usually, right here on the inside so that you can measure an exact length of a line. And then there's inches along the bottom so that you can measure the inches, see? And protractors are usually just two or three dollars, and the clear ones are the best ones because you want to be able to see through it to see your lines, don't you? Sometimes they sell them and you can't see through them. They're opaque, and I would rather have one that I can see through so I can see if I'm lining my lineup correctly here, see? 
I want to be able to line everything up, so a clear one's the best way to go, okay? So, for this chapter, you're going to need a protractor, okay? You might be able to find one at a dollar store. I know they have them on Amazon for just 2 or $3, but they've got them everywhere. They've got them in all kinds of stores, okay? So, that is how you measure an angle. That's how you draw an angle. We know how to label them, and we learned that in fifth grade, okay? So, we're going to continue talking about geometry and angles and figures and measuring, and I'll see you next video. Bye.